small article in the news recently about the Department of Defense seeking bids for portable nuclear power generators. What that means, I haven't looked for. Have to go, probably should have been following some federal contracts out there. So that that was caught in the news meant somebody is looking out at federal contracts and reading them in that news world. You can go find that uh, article. There should be some more articles. It's future of the planet they're talking about. But hey, who would insure that stuff? So Department of Defense, it was unusual it came from there, but it truly isn't. Um, who actually owns small modular reactors. This was a term, this term isn't new, it's old. It has a failure history across the Arctic and Alaska, but who tries, who is responsible for managing small modular reactors is the Army Corps of Engineers, not the Department of Defense. So if you want to learn about the past history of failed small modular reactors, there's two that are kind of easily found. One's in Alaska and one's up in uh, frozen polar north. There should be a third one that's a little bit harder to find in Greenland. So, and they're failures. They're abject failures. Huge amounts of money huge risks. DOD doesn't insure. They bomb. That's their job. So that that bid went out just shows the contempt for conversations and debate and science and liabilities and risks. So maybe those things are necessary. Maybe they can prove they can handle them, manage them safely. I don't think so. History doesn't show that. History shows the Department of Defense leaving wastelands across America polluted with chemicals, it, mostly air bases from cleaning, washing airplanes. We've polluted aquifers, drinking waters for towns surrounding air bases, and uh, all military bases have these risks using old bases as storage for hazardous waste and the drums melt and the DDT leaches into the soil and destroys an aquifer. No problems. This is what happens. Done under the DOD, they don't have the same constraints that normal businesses do. But underneath that, it's normal businesses that are doing the work. They give the miners, corporations, the same pass to environmental rules, to state rules and regulations. They don't even tell the state what they're doing. Utah's storing nuclear weapons waste now. Or Nevada, I think Nevada, either way. It's out there, it's probably in both. So these small modular reactors and their history of failure is lost. These new SMRs with the capital letters that are being sold are those ages old reactors just updated refreshed design and even more importantly think about it more artificial intelligence to keep us safe if it was developed as well as Boeing's artificial intelligence that crashed two airplanes because people didn't know how to turn it off wait a minute artificial intelligence is running these reactors now these reactors instantly become a target because humans instantly become a target because humans but the orange thing. So there's a, another thing out there with this proliferation of commercial nuclear power plants, every ounce of fuel 
is thousands of tons of earth moved and dissected and purified and repurified and tossed out. It's not that big a world in the mining industry, in the chemical industry.